Hi guys, welcome back to Emma's Amazing World. I'm here again for a collab with Katie. Back at it again with another collab. <laughs> and yeah, so today we're just going to be doing a 4th of July type thing and we're doing Hamilton trivia. Woo! Woo! Because... How well do you know Hamilton? Yes, yeah, it's Hamilton trivia. Yeah. Anyways, let's get into the video. Okay, Katie's asking me the questions first, so... So... Who is, uh, well, uh, okay, who is the oldest Skylar sister, Eliza, Peggy, or Angelica? I want to say Angelica. It makes the most sense. Okay. It doesn't tell us if you got the answer right. I know, it'll tell us later. <laughs> okay. Who shot Alexander Hamilton? George Washington, Aaron Burr, Philip Hamilton, or Thomas Jefferson? Aaron Burr. <laughs> Uh, who wrote Hamilton? That, that's a dumb question. Okay, oh, Lin, <laughs> Lin Manuel Lin Miranda. Miranda. Here, here are the choices: Lin Manuel Miranda, J.J. Abrams, <laughs> or Andrew Lloyd Webber. Hmm, J.J. Abrams is tempting, but oh, Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> okay, Grandma loves him. What is the last song of the soundtrack? The world was wide enough. My shot. Who lives? Who dies? Who tells your story? History has its eye on you, eyes on you, or burn. Uh, who lives, who dies, who tells your story. Okay. What are the Schuyler sisters' names? Uh, Angelica, Eliza, Peggy, Theodosia, Kate, or Alex? Uh, and Alex. It's Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy. And Peggy. Okay. Sorry this was short, but last question, who is the best character in Hamilton? Is that gonna count against my? I guess not. I don't know. Uh, Angelica, because she freaking roasts Hamilton. Okay. Like, I thought this quiz would what? be longer. What is this? Mail. The mail popped up. Okay. Mail time. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate Hamilton? Sorry. Here. Scroll down. It's like a one to ten. 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 <laughs> ten out of ten. Ten out of ten would recommend. Uh, what is Hamilton's son's name? Philip. Duh, Aaron Burr. <laughs> you, you practically know Hamilton. Eight out of eight. That this quiz was too easy. This okay, was too easy. Pick something fun. different. Oh. Well, do you? <laughs> when when no. the quiz is too easy. I was gonna say, wait. How well do you know the lyrics to Hamilton? Yeah. Okay. Let's start the quiz. Hopefully, this will tell us if we're right or not. Okay. So, finish the lyric. You punched blank. The, the Burzer, Brazier, first. Aaron Burr, Thomas Jefferson, the president. <laughs> you punched the president. <laughs> you punched Thomas Jefferson, the Burzer. Yeah. Or is it the Brazier? It's Burser. Burser. You punch the Burser because it rhymes with Aaron Burser. Correct? I don't know. It has a check. Well, I think that. Oh, oh you oh. just keep going. Yeah. Okay. Next one. These are wise words. Enterprising men quote them. And according to Jefferson, why, sh why shouldn't we act surprised? Don't act surprised because I wrote them. <laughs> Cause I wrote them. Okay. Yeah. Next question. Well, that's all. <laughs> How will King George remind us of his love? Okay, scroll down because there's. Killer. He'll kill our troops. He'll send fully armed baton battalion. Battalion. He'll write us a letter. He'll conquer our country. Oh, kill your friend and family. But no, it's he'll send a fully armed battalion to write. Fully my... armed battalion. There's two answers, <laughs> but there, but it's not on there, so. We're at a cookout, that's why, if you hear a lot of voices in the background, that's why. Yeah, my brother's friends are here. I'm trying to scroll down. Okay, these are four things Alexander tells Eliza he doesn't have. What are they? I know he doesn't have a dollar. A title is land, any troops command, dollars my name, any bit of fame. 
a dollar to my name, a troop to command, an ounce of fame, an upstanding family, a dollar to my name, an acre of land, I don't a troop to command, a dollop of fame. I think it's I think penny it's to my name, name, an acre of land, land. family to, I think it's a dollar to my name, an acre of land, a troop to command, a dollop of fame. I don't know. Yeah, sure. A dollop to my fame. Correct. After Angelica says, when I fantasize at night, what does she see? Alexander's smile, Alexander's eyes, a satisfied sister, or Aaron's eyes. Well, it's either Alexander's smile or Alexander's eyes, or a satisfied sister. Pick one. I think it's eyes. But, Eliza talks about his eyes, not smile. Uh, I want to say a smile. I'll find out. Number six. Here, if you want, use the arrow. Okay, what comes next? I got a holler, holla, just to be heard with every word. I drop knowledge. I'm a diamond in the rough, a shiny piece of coal. Something in my power of speech, and something done. Uh, only 19, but my mind. Uh, okay. I went, I went too far down. This computer <laughs> lags. Yeah, I need to fix that. I don't know. I think it's that one. I'm a diamond around a shiny piece of coal. I'm trying to reach my goal. The power of speech unimpeachable. I'm only 19, but my mind is older. A lucky street famished the plan is... No. A and D E R. We are meant to be a colony that runs independently. When should you have pity on Alexander? If you see him in the streets, walking by himself, talking to himself, when he goes through the unimaginable, when you walk in the park long after taking, when Eliza takes his sand. No, that's forgiveness. If you see him in the streets, walking by himself, talking to himself, have pity. Yeah. Grandma who's obsessed with Hamilton more than you are. It's loading. <laughs> According to Alexander, who is Banquo and who is Macduff? Who? <laughs> like they, uh, the people from Macbeth. Congress is Banquo, Burr is Macduff, Burr is Banquo, Jefferson's Macduff, uh, Madison is Banquo, uh, Congress is Macduff, Madison is Banquo, Jefferson's Macduff. Like they think me Macbeth. I've never read so, Macbeth. Yeah, but it's in a song. Um, I don't it's in remember. Take a Break. Take a Break! Run away with us for the summer. He's like writing to Angelica. He's My dearest like, Angelica. Tomorrow yes. and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, he Anyways, he's writing like they think me Macbeth and oh somebody's Banquo and somebody's Macduff. So I okay Jefferson showed up, so I think it's Madison as Banquo and Jefferson Macduff. Okay, because I was thinking somebody showed up and. Yeah, Jefferson. I'm trying to. Remember, I was trying to remember a second after first act. What is Hamilton's refrain to Burr? History has its eyes on you. You stand for nothing. What will you fall for? Talk less, smile more. Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. Teach them how to say goodbye. If you stand for nothing, Burr, what will you? Who are you? Who are you? Who am I? What does Eliza tell <laughs> Alexander to take a break and do? I quoted it earlier. Run away with us for the summer. I mean, I know that one. So. Run away with us for the summer. Let's go upstairs. And then he done messed up. What is the six dual commandment? Le Leave a note for your next of kin. Tell them where have you been. Pray that hell or heaven lets you in. Duel before the sun is in the sky. Pick a place to die where it's high and dry. Confess your sins, ready for the moment of adrenaline when you finally face your opponent. The last chance to negotiate. Send in your seconds. See if they can set the record straight. 
number one, the challenge demands satisfaction. I apologize. Uh, two, send in your seconds. Uh, three, I think it's... I know this is in the Leave last... Leave a note for your next kin, tell them where you've been. Yeah. The no. last one is with Alexander's death. Okay. Well, your last chance to negotiate some of your seconds. See if they can set the record straight. Seems like the last one, so... Um, Philip challenges... George to a duel after George clarifies, I didn't say anything that wasn't true. You didn't deserve the position, position, you're just too new. Your father is a coward, so it seems you are. My wife it was the lady you decided to blank. Or that you decide to fu <laughs> Your father's a scoundrel, and so it seems you are you. Well, is he there a coward? I think it's scoundrel. You're a scoundrel. Your father's a scoundrel, and it seems so are you. That was that scoundrel. Was, that was that, that, that says, was uh, say no to this. Yeah. Show me my results. Hold tight. Magic quiz. It's working on our magic. Eleven out of twelve. See the answers. Okay, first one you were right. Um doop 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 doo doop 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 do, do, Dora. Okay, the second one is right. Yeah, he punched the bursar. Uh number two, you were right. Didn't you like win that laptop? Yes. Well, good thing you won it. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't buy then it. You didn't buy it. <laughs> no, I won it at prom. I'm not surprised. Uh, tomorrow, one, tomorrow. Four, I was right. Okay. Five, I was. Five was the one I got wrong. Angelica's. Close, but not quite. Oh, it was his smile. It was his. It wasn't his smile. It was his eyes. Yeah. Okay, so the rest I got right, but you know. Okay. Bottle well, beans. Cool beans. That was fun. <laughs> And strong to do so. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Be sure to subscribe to Emma, and we'll do a collab here soon with Katie. We'll figure out what we're gonna do for that. Anyways, yeah. bye. Bye.